I've been staying in our house for almost two weeks and honestly I'm getting bored so I was planning to do something like outside but I really can't just think of something that is interesting for me here in Ostrava if only I just have friends here it would be easier for me to have some fun but since I don't have friends here in Ostrava it's so hard for me to go somewhere so I decided I'm gonna visit Jacob and it's a surprise visit they are having a harvest time during this month and we'll see what his reaction so guys I rode a tram for 10 minutes and then I realized I can't find a bus in that area for me to get to Jacob's field so I decided I'm gonna walk for 30 minutes and I don't know what's this place you know what guys it's a very bad idea that I decided to surprise him or gave him a surprise visit because I just checked on the map that Jacob transferred or went back to his farm and it takes two hours and 30 minutes for me to walk to Kuba's farm so I've been like I tried to call him like as if like where are you right now like that for me to really know if he's going to come back here and he told me that he will be back after 30 minutes so I've been standing here for 30 minutes but he doesn't know where I am because we are sharing locations but I turned it off earlier for him not to know that I am going to visit him this place is out of nowhere and it's a warehouse area and it's so far away from the city and I'm here so I just hope he comes and I'm waiting you can see the map if you can see it to walk for two hours so guys after an hour we met while Kuba was going to his field I called him like you know I'm somewhere here you can have to pick me up and I can ride with you <laughs> right <No. laughs> you lost again. <laughs> I got lost this area is surrounded with fields that's why there is no transportation and today he's driving a truck his colleague is driving the combine and he's the one picking up the crops and transferring it to the farm so guys we are going to watch Jacob's harvesting and I am so curious how it looks like we will see ah. so interesting so nice right crazy look at that ah! crazy. the funniest thing when mentioned today the company is pooping the plant <laughs> Jacob is asking while I'm wearing trousers in 37 degrees <laughs> we are even wearing jackets and jeans in the Philippines with 40 degrees temperature Filipinos are abnormal Gwen told me it's like boring just to be sitting here and waiting and doing nothing so I gave her a task <laughs> I'm driving uh, <laughs> I'm asking Jacob if it's easy to harvest canola what do you say? Like the harvest itself is very complicated to you know how to prepare the harvester, operate it, clean it it's and if you know how to drive the so combine the driving is the last thing the easiest Really? Say. Really? So his job is just waiting and his colleague is harvesting there. Going with him? He's going to refill Jacob. Refill, refill, refill. Crazy. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> So 
after the truck was filled up, Jacob has to drive to the farm immediately because his main job right now is driving the truck, transporting seeds to the farm, and unloading them into the storage room. They have been harvesting for three weeks straight with 450 hectares of fields and they have been harvesting canola and barley. So before he unloads the truck, he has to weigh the seeds and record the data and I asked him why and he told me that it's so important because it helps them know exactly how much they've harvested and make sure that they get paid the right amount of money when selling. checking and Jacob told me that what yeah Jacob told me that I should be careful of this one because if I will be buried definitely I will die <laughs> yeah it's empty I'm helping him navigating things if it's like empty or stuff so it'll be easier for him Now Jacob's task is to get out from here. He's a good driver. I thought he's done. <laughs> I, was just, I thought it's just that's it. Like he will just put the seeds there and that's all. He can go back. But he said there's still work that needs to be done. Now I understand why it's like he said 20 minutes all in all for him to come back there. What's the work? Can I help you? Aha! Now I understand. He has to push it there. He's using that. Aha! Shaco sometimes worries about whether I can handle being married to a farmer because harvest time is crazy busy and sometimes he even has to stay overnight and work on weekends. But I told him that I don't mind the overtime because I grew up understanding it. My father was also a mango farmer and I remember him staying at the farm for a month since it was too far to come home daily. And deciding to visit Jacob was a good choice for me 
before I did not fully understand how everything worked and how exhausting this job is and seeing it firsthand made me realize that farming is not easy and it's so crazy to think that while other people are on vacation during summer farmers have to work extra hard with sleepless nights sacrificing their rest to ensure the harvest is completed and this made me realize that I'm so proud of Jacob for handling it so now he is sweeping sweeping those seeds i told him that i want to help him baby free please but he said no because i'm not paid for it <laughs> but i just want to try it looks fun hello guys i'm not much into talkings it's already been a very long day I'm not really in a mood, at least someone is having fun and I hope this will be over soon Here would be a struggle, struggle, struggle for Gwen to be a truck driver Like the crazy thing, Filipinos can climb coconut trees, but once they have ladders and stairs, it's a problem. Yeah. Where are you? I'm eating his food. <laughs> Can you try the water watermelon I brought for you, please? Maybe. Maybe do you want? I'm going back now. Imagine me walking in this area, baby. What's that? Oh. So guys, it's almost 10 p.m. I mean, it's already 10 p.m. And Jacob just finished. Ugh. Just finished, finally. And finally, we can go home now he's just checking the truck if something is like everything set up look already night so guys thank you so much for watching our video for supporting our channel since day one and we are looking forward to upload more videos and more adventures in our channel if you like this video you may hit the like and subscribe button see you again next time bye